Hey everybody, it's Joyce Lick here from Black Hair Compass and I am back to give you guys an update on how my lock comb out is going and just have a general, ooh, is my battery low? Is my battery low? Hey everybody, it's Joyce Lick here from Black Hair Compass and I'm coming to you guys with another video. So it has been a long time since I have come on YouTube. <clears throat> um, so this is going to be just a chit chat video. I'm going to update you guys on how my lock comb out is going and just in general what's going on. Um, but yeah, in my last video, I told you guys that it took me like 45 minutes to an hour to come out one lock. That was a lie. Um, it's, it's, um, now that I have been coming out my locks for about a month and a half, it takes me an hour to an hour and 45 minutes, an hour to an hour and a half. Sometimes on a really difficult lock, an hour and 45 minutes to come out, um, <clears throat> to come out a lock. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's an interesting process coming out locks. As I just stated, you can imagine that it's a long process. It takes a long time. Oh, I should show you guys my progress so far. So I started in the back. Um, and it's been interesting trying to style, um, style my hair. When I have locks at the top and loose hair in the back, um, I've even tried to wear it like this, like a half up, half down. But my hair, it's like, do I just not remember what my hair used to do, or has it changed? I can't tell. I think it's, be I think it's that I don't remember how my hair reacts in um, Washington weather. I remember because I locked I locked my hair after living in Washington for like s three months or so. Like I pretty much locked my hair right after I got here, and I remember like part of okay. This so this is not gonna stay okay. Um, I remember once I got here, I stopped stretching my hair. Stretched and I stopped stretching my hair, and I think it was because um, in Washington it doesn't rain heavy but it drizzles regularly so there's a lot of moisture in the air and my hair is really reactive to humidity so i stopped stretching my hair because there really was no point because it would always react to um the weather and i could never uh, maintain a stretch style so i'm like maybe that's what it is because i'm like i just remember when i was living in atlanta i would stretch my hair and it was humid there too but it would still last a little bit um, I go outside with my stretched hair and it starts reverting back into an afro like in almost no time. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I, it's just like, so that's the thing. Like one, it takes me longer to comb out my locks than I thought. Two, I don't, I can't really tell if my hair is any different. I think that so far though, the results are pretty good. Like I know for a lot of people, you know, they experience breakage and I have experienced breakage, but that was mostly due to not knowing what technique was working best for me to comb out my locks so i lost hair when i was trying to comb them out with water and conditioner but once i figured out you know that loosening my locks with a push pin and then gently combing them out was working i haven't really experienced as much breakage so that's a good thing um what else is going on oh yeah another reason why i have been like not really posting that many videos is because I just had to take a step back because I'm sure all you guys know by now but y'all crucified my girl natural nirvana in the comment section <laughs> y'all were so ruthless in that comment section and granted I want to say um, something that I've noticed is that people who are disgruntled and are angry tend to be louder than people who are just chilling so it really wasn't that the majority of people were like hating on her it's just that the people who were hating on her were very vocal and it got me started thinking on and the thing is is I have experienced that too not to that degree except on one of my videos which I took down but I have not really experienced like so much abuse and hateful comments to the same degree that she did on any of my like regular lock videos um, but what it did is it made me start questioning like it made me start um, paying attention to people who were commenting negatively on my videos and i know some of you guys might be like joyce i don't see any negative comments it's 
not that they're not commenting it's that I'm deleting their comments and blocking them from my channel which in and of itself can start to feel a little bit like a full-time job like just running behind folks and like deleting their mean and nasty comments off your video off your videos but um, it kind of made me like question do I do I still want to be making YouTube videos like that's why I've been posting so sparsely because I'm like I think I just want to take a break because I've had some comments come up on my videos that when I talk to my husband about them or my friends like even um, other girls that I know in real life who are natural like I'll tell them yeah this person wrote this thing they're like doesn't that discourage you from like wanting to make videos I'm like actually yes actually yes it does and so that's why I've been taking a break because I'm like I don't need that kind of negativity in my life and you know social media is weird in that you know it's kind of like you know when you go to work and you deal with um, those email gangsters who like are people that would never say like they would they'll send you a nasty email but if they were standing right in front of you they would never dare say those things and if the reason why is because like electronic communication and social media in general it, it gives you like this like false sense of protection and space and, and on YouTube anonymity like no one knows really who you are if you don't put your real name or your picture and so it just shows like it just allows people to really show who they are and unfortunately like you can see a really ugly side of humanity on social media and I'm like dude most I just want from a content creator standpoint I just want you guys to know that like it gets hard <laughs> it gets hard reading those like really nasty comments because I'm like the people who are leaving the comments they're just leaving one comment but if you're the content creator you're on the receiving end of like 300 500 600 nasty comments that can be a lot that can take a toll on you and so I was that's part of the reason that I've been MIA because I'm like I don't want to deal with this um the other reason okay so if you guys follow me on Instagram you know about this but your girl is expecting I'm gonna be having my second baby and so I have been taking more time to just chill that's why I'm out of breath right now I'm just talking and I'm out of breath um that's also part of the reason why I had like I think on some of on my last video some of you guys noticed that I have like a dark spot on my lower lip and it's on my upper lip that's a whole that's due to pregnancy I passed out that's a whole other video that's a whole other video that I'll make just how pregnancy has gone in these first couple not even first couple weeks I'm almost halfway through now but yeah so that's another reason why I've been MIA you know hey comments <laughs> pregnancy I just have a lot going on and so I was taking a break um, but in general I just now that again like I told I don't know if I mentioned this but I usually um, like plan my videos plan the content of my videos I did not sit down and write down an outline at all so this video is gonna be a little bit all over the place so just forgive me it's just a chit chat video I don't have a planned itinerary for the video but um because I am transitioning out of locks I've been watching a lot of videos from just other parts of the black of the black hair community whether it be loose natural people who prefer to wear their hair in weave people who like to get braids people with relaxers and i'm just like again this is still stemming back to you know what happened on natural nirvana's video um you know with all of these like ludicrous just hateful really abusive rhetoric on on these comments um i'm starting to recognize that you know that's a theme throughout social media Whenever someone does a major change to their platform, whether it's there's someone who's relaxed and they're going natural or they're natural and they go relaxed or they have locks and they go back to loose hair. Even I experienced it when I had loose hair and I went to locks. Like I had people like and all these other channels too, like have people that just, um, you know, leave really nasty and mean comments. And I just want to know, like, why do people do that? Why do, why do people do that? Because I'm, I'm like, just because I'm like, is it that some people believe that because you start making YouTube videos, you forfeit your right to like change anything about yourself? Like, do you forfeit your right to, to choice 
once you become a content creator on YouTube? Can someone help me understand, like, why are people so mean and nasty? Because people do changes to their platform. Like, and again, I need to be fair because I'm like, for the most part, the overwhelming majority of people are kind. I've had the overwhelming majority of gauge, engagement on my videos are kind people who have nice things to say. But across the board on my channel and across YouTube, from what I can see as it relates to black hair channels, there's about like 30% of people tend to have like really mean things to say and they're really nasty, but they're the loudest. So it can feel really overwhelmingly negative because people who are just chilling are really quiet, but the people who are negative are really loud about it and they leave really mean comments. And But my, but my question is, is why? Like why do people get so upset? When people change stuff, I'm like, and then y'all wonder why people stop making videos. Like, you got again, this is not to everybody. Like I said, seventy percent of people are are fine, but to that thirty percent, y'all will wonder why you know someone will make videos for years and then all of a sudden stop. Like, that's why because they get all these nasty comments for doing like regular everyday stuff, like changing their look. Like all of us do that. All of us do that. So I don't understand why people get so up in arms and they get so mean and nasty about that. Like about normal stuff like changing your hair. Like why does that happen? Can somebody help me understand that? But yeah, I mean so that that's pretty much the recap. Y'all want to get an idea of where I stand on my lock comb out. This is where I'm at. Oh, um, I... Interestingly, I can't, I think I'm a little bit, I think my hair is a little bit shorter than when I started. Granted, my hair is not completely, it's not as stretched as it was when I took my before photo. So I'll have to really tell once I'm completely done combing things out. But I think my hair is at the same length it was when I started, which means, which is something good that's like, I retained the length that I started with, but I did not retain any of the length that I gained in the two years that I was locked. I think that probably some of it is just breaking off from the um, detangling session, which again, is still kind of strange to me because I'm like, I don't really see too much breakage. Like my hair is handling the detangling session really well, but I would expect that I would not start with, you know, I wouldn't finish with the amount of hair that I started with. You would think you'd have more. But for me, that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems that I'm right around exactly where I started, which I'm actually okay with because I was preparing for much worse than that. A lot of people, you know, they come out their locks and they have to cut their hair a lot because the process is too damaging to their hair, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case for me. So, you know, I'm happy with that, but that's just a little bit strange to me where I'm like, hmm, okay, but I'll still take it. Hey, I'll take it because I'm happy with where my hair is is at. I'll turn this way so y'all can see. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I've been looking at my monitor because I'm focusing on combing out this lock. But that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, hopefully I can get back into a groove with posting more videos, but I'm not making any promises because I got a lot going on. And I'm really just trying to get through this lock comb out because I will say that when I first started combing out my locks I had so much motivation so much determination and I was like ready to see it through and honestly I still I know that I'm gonna finish I'm just not moving as quickly as I was in the beginning and so I don't have doubts that I'm gonna finish I just may not finish by the end of the year maybe I will I don't know it's November 20th I don't know I don't know I might not finish by the end of the year like I was thinking I was going to because in which ultimately which is fine for me um I just need to finish before I have my baby that's really all that matter that's really all I care about like I don't don't really care about ending in December I do not want to be combing out locks with a newborn though so that's the only thing that I really care about so I just need to finish before then which I think I will so that's the only thing Next steps for my hair, um, I've been doing something about what I want to do and I have a couple things going that, you know, options that I might 
follow but for now I've been looking for a braider because I'm thinking that for when my baby gets here I would like to have my hair braided up and let me tell you something if you didn't watch my okay I've only had my hair braided once in my entire life and it was the last time I had my I had, was having a baby with Cruz and I that experience was so bad that I made a video about it to like warn other people and teach them how to get prepared for getting your hair professionally braided so that you don't come out edgeless. I mean, you still gonna come out edgeless, but not as edgeless, okay? Um, so that, because I had such a poor experience, it's really caused me to, I have been just looking for, um, really taking my time to research braiders here in Washington and really doing my best to check out people's work and see, okay, are they pulling out this person's edges in this photo? Like, how tight does it look? Like, how quality is their work? And let me just say something. It's really hard. It's really hard to find. I'm just remembering how hard it is to really find someone that you can trust with your hair. Because as I've stated in previous videos, like, I... It has been so long since I've gone to a salon. The last time I went to a salon was in middle school. When my mom was paying for my for my hair to be professionally relaxed. And then when I got to high school, she started relaxing my hair. Um, that's the last time in middle school was the last time I went to a salon. And it's I'm just realizing how difficult it is to find someone that you can trust. And, I, and I'm starting to understand so much of it is trial and error. Where you just go and you hope that you don't come out bald. And... <laughs> If you don't, then I guess you stay with them. I don't know. But it's really hard to find, like, people that you can trust. And it's hard to find quality um, hairstylists. Um, and I'm and the thing is, is I know that they're out there. I know that they're out there. It's just hard to find them. It's really hard to find them. And I'm just really coming to terms with that as I'm looking for a braider, someone that I can trust. Because I'm like, there's lots of braid shops set up here in Seattle, but I'm like, just because they're set up doesn't mean that that's where I'm supposed that I should go because I did that with my first um, braiding session and it was terrible. I even went to to that first shop, that first braid shop, on a recommendation. Like my mom gave me that recommendation, and they and they still like ripped down my edges. So that's why I'm like, even with a recommendation, it can still be sometimes like, you know risky so i'm just doing my best to find like quality braiders here in washington that that will do a good job you know because i don't mind paying i don't mind paying good money for quality work that's not the issue i don't want to pay any money for someone to damage my hair though that's that's my issue and so it's just it just makes me you know it just makes me think about you know how how difficult it might be for some people to find a good loctician or to find someone who can correctly relax their hair or someone who can properly take care of their and style their natural hair like I just have not been in this position <laughs> for so long because I've not worked with a with a salon but anyway I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes I would like to have my hair braided if I can find somebody that I can that looks like they're trustworthy I'm gonna go ahead and just take the risk um, and if that's the case I'll keep you guys updated on that but as always thank you guys for tuning in for my extra long extra unorganized video and I will see you guys next time